Hi Madeline, how are you? Hi, I'm, I'm doing okay. Yeah. Um, I'm really excited to talk with you today because I really need some help. Okay. Um, my class has been driving me up a wall lately. So. Oh, well, I'm glad you reached out. I'm happy to support you and we'll see if we can brainstorm. Mm -hmm. First, tell me what's on your mind. Well, right now I feel like we just have so many rule violations. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's really chaotic in my classroom. Um, I'm reviewing my expectations beforehand, but when they just don't behave, I don't know what to do other than take recess, um, and I don't think that's the best or really working for them. So, okay. so lots of disruptive behavior. Yeah. Um, and it sounds chaotic. That's really stressful. I'm sorry to hear about that experience. Um, and I'm hearing you might be open to looking at some new yes, strategies. For so sure. let's let's dive into that. What I have found is that. Um, I'd like to learn a little bit more about the situation, but then we can also look on the Maximize platform okay. for some strategies and ideas. Okay. Um, yeah. So tell me more about when this is occurring. Uh, well, it, it starts in the morning routine at the very beginning of the day. Um, like when they're all coming in, I have my expectations on the board, uh -huh. I'm doing my greetings, um, and I try to notice the kids that are doing well, but when I, I come into my room, um, and we're doing our morning routine, getting ready for announcements, moving to community circles. I feel like I'm constantly harping on okay. behaviors okay. and it's not effective. Okay. Um, some students just don't listen. Um, mm. And I'm, I'm wondering if there's other strategies or things that okay. I can try. Well, first I hear that you're using greetings mm -hmm. and uh, community circles, so wonderful. That shows your commitment to building that community and relationships. Um, and it sounds like the few students that are really causing this problem are drawing you into some things that don't feel so good. So let's yeah. talk more about that. Okay, yeah. Um, so most of the behaviors are coming from the same three boys. Okay. Okay. Um, they just can't control their bodies or their mouths. And then I think that really draws everyone else off okay. task. And so it's it's kind of like a domino effect. Okay. Like they they're the three that typically start mm -hmm. it, and then it just gets out of control. Um, all right. Well, let's. Uh, did you do a self assessment? I did. Okay. Yeah. Let's uh -huh. take a look at your platform, and if okay. it's okay for me to look at your profile, yeah. then we can build from your strengths and see what other ideas might be useful here. Yeah. Um, are the three you're referring to the? At least a couple have been in the office lately. Yes, okay. I have had to send yeah. them to the office. So. <laughs> I think I know who we're joking about. Uh -huh. All right, so as you said, your greetings and, and praise are strengths, so keep doing that, building from that. <laughs> Lots of areas doing well, so just the few sort of areas for us to consider. Um, I'm hearing you say, like, you know, you're wanting to sort of be responsive to this challenging behavior and sort of nip that in the bud. So that probably aligns most with corrective feedback. Mm -hmm. But we also could think about, like, do you want to do student check ins and get to know these boys better? Do you want to, I mean, the, the student choice sometimes is more about academic engagement. I'm hearing this is more around morning routine. But yeah. thoughts about student check ins or corrective feedback? I just, I feel like student check-ins would just kind of add to my plate at this point okay. like I, i'm already so stripped for time okay. that i don't know if i i have the time right sure. now to meet individually with kiddos and like i'm, I'm doing corrective feedback anyways and okay. it's not super working okay. so I, I feel like that would be a good place okay. to start all right so you can click on learn more okay and it provides you with the definitions. Mm -hmm. So it's feedback in a manner that preserves the dignity of the student, prevents escalation from behaviors, minimizes that like attention to mm -hmm. that negative behavior, mm -hmm. and just doing it in a way where you're like labeling the behavior, connecting it to your expectations, and then trying to give those kids an opportunity for skill development or growth, because it sounds like these boys are kind of lacking that, that self-regulation. Yeah. So that's kind of the definition. Any thoughts or reactions to that? Well, I, I really like how the definition focuses on preserving the dignity mm -hmm. of the students mm -hmm. and, and preventing worse behavior. I mean, that's that's definitely what I want, um, but I just feel like I don't know what else to do or say besides okay. threaten for them to lose recess. I, I like, what else do we even have? Okay. Um, and I, I do feel like I tell them what they're doing wrong and connect it to our expectations. Um, so I, I feel like it's not always, I, I feel like sometimes I have to yell at them, like they're all the way across the room yeah. goofing off. And um, so I'm not able to do it very like discreetly. Okay. Um, but 
I, I'm, I think I'm doing okay with tying it to expectations okay, and things. Yeah. I just, they need more consequences. Okay, well, it sounds like you are really caring about them in terms of that dignity part spoke to you. Mm -hmm. So let's look at these equity features. So these mm -hmm. are different ways then to move forward with this skill. Um, I mean, you can think about like enhancing the ratio of your praise to corrective feedback. Um, you can think about uh, using a wider range of different types of corrective feedback, which may be sort of applicable here. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I don't see you sending the kids to the office too much. I think those kids end up going to the office more from recess than yeah. their classroom. <laughs> um, and then some of these others are about sort of like managing your stress or managing conflict between kids. Okay. So, Thoughts about either the first or second feature? Do either of those two seem to fit? Well, this one about like the variety and mm -hmm. wide range sounds like what I need okay. because I don't feel like I have many options. Okay. Yeah, let's take a look and see if that fits. Okay. So it just repeats the key feature. There's handouts and videos. I think I've seen other teachers use this handout pretty well for this okay. kind of thing. So yeah. let's click on that and see. Um, so it says like, why is it important? Mm -hmm. And then how to respond. So I think this beginning, definitely read about this. I think it's basically just saying like, the more you respond early on, the lower the disruptive behavior will be later. Okay. Like think about if you're not responding to them, what's gonna happen? Yeah, they're just, just <laughs> gonna keep happening. <laughs> okay. So um, let's go down to look at these choices. Okay. So there's like 10 here. Take a look and see if there's some you're already doing that you wanna build on or tweak, or are there any new ones? Well, like I said, I feel like I'm doing one and two. Okay. Um, with, with these boys, I'm not really doing number three because I get really frustrated with them. And okay. Gosh, <laughs> I probably don't do three or four much at all. Um, but let's see. I don't know if, I'm not sure if physical prompts is something that I'm really interested in because I feel like sometimes I get really frustrated yeah. and if I'm giving a physical prompt, like it's kind of too much. Okay. Um, like I said, I'm giving mostly public feedback, so I probably could I could focus more on discreet stuff. And then I I try to provide consequences. Right. I just feel like I don't I don't, don't know about any options. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, um, let the, continue to do the labeling and referring to your expectations. That is a great foundation. Okay. But we also, from an equity perspective, need to think about like while that may mean meeting the needs of most of your kids, it sounds like these boys might need more than that. Yeah, so I think sure. we have three or four different options here that you said maybe you could enhance. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, that notion of discrete versus public feedback, sometimes even just thinking about proximity, like mm -hmm. where the kids are when they come in, if there's a way to situate them so they're closer to you or you closer to them, you might be able to like give that feedback more discreetly. It sounds like you're right. They're pulling you into like yelling across the room a bit. Yeah, for sure. Um, so that could be something you could um, offer choices where you say, you know, like you can um, join us at the circle and, and sit on a carpet square or you can choose to listen from your desk, you know, kind of two options that are acceptable to you, but mm -hmm. um, give them a little control that helps. Um, and then, um, What's the other one you were talking about? Maybe, um, oh, just that notion of like having the skill building. Mm, mm -hmm. That it doesn't sound like they're very regulated. So if we can think about, do you think there's any skills they need to build to be able to do this routine better? I mean, they're just so like, they're like my little energizer bunnies. <laughs> like it, they don't really think before doing something. Okay. Um, kind of like impulsive, okay. I guess. And so I really want them to, you know, learn to, you know, go energizer bunny mode at recess. But when we're in class, okay. you have to like follow these yeah. these routines and expectations and things. If that makes sense, like that's yeah. what I want to help them okay. figure out. Yeah, you want to um, give them those skills. I wonder if like skills practice. So mm -hmm. you know, just pulling them aside and either having them practice the morning routine and giving them more guidance on that, so it's really salient to them. Is that yeah? I think that help? I think I could do that. Okay. Yeah. So we're building some good ideas. What would would you like to set a goal? For yeah. This? Okay. I think that would be helpful. Um, so if we go back to, we'll kind of keep this open. We can go back to this okay. dashboard and say create a goal. Yeah. And you can choose that corrective feedback, um, which just says let's get started. 
and then you can choose that feature yeah. using the wide range. Um, and here it gives you your goal. You can edit this though. I'm improving okay. my corrective feedback by using a wide range of responses. And then we have these like smart steps to get you started. Mm -hmm. So it's about sort of thinking about inclusion and equity and being very specific. Okay. So um, here it talks about reviewing that learn more page and then um, responding to it mm -hmm. um, in a way that builds skills. Like, do you want to be more specific about the way you, I don't know if you want to um, choose one or two of those different features to work on? Well, yeah, I think like I've already reviewed like the learn more page a little okay. bit, so it probably does make sense to change this. Mm -hmm. Like maybe just like positioning myself so that way I, I stand closer to them mm -hmm. during my morning routine. Okay. Um, and like at, at carpet time for like morning morning meetings, community mm -hmm. circle, like having them closer to okay. me. Does that yeah, if you think that's a way to get them feedback more quietly, let's yeah. try that. Okay. I love mm -hmm. that idea. Um, were you thinking about the, like how to get them to practice more? Mm, yeah, I feel like that's something that, that we can do, like practice routines and mm -hmm. things more with yeah. those kids. And one thing to think about is sort of how to do that in a way that calls them in and encourages them as opposed to like calling them out or separating them. Mm -hmm. So do you thought how you want to incorporate that practice? Well, I mean, I guess like off the top of my head, I, I thought that I would maybe like hold them back mm -hmm. for a few minutes um, when the class is going to art or recess or something so that they can like practice and go through it more. But I guess that would call them out quite a bit okay. because that's keeping them from their specials okay. so uh, maybe like I don't know I know they need it and mm -hmm. so maybe like having the whole class mm -hmm. do it I don't know not in a way that's like okay these boys need it so we all have to do it okay. but just like kind of calling them in that way and like okay. letting everyone practice more yeah so maybe thinking that Yes, yeah, so they're drawing your most attention, but there might be other kids who could benefit. Yeah. So why not do a whole class with yeah. you? Okay. Yeah. I think that sounds like a really nice way to call them in and not separate them. And um, some other teachers have found it helpful too to make these boys <clears throat> leaders in this. I don't know if that would work for them. If could you ask them, hey, I really want you to model this for me today. I want to remind the class of this. Would that be possible with these well, boys? Well. One of the three boys, okay. I think, would really like that. I, okay. think, I think he would he would respond well to that, and would be it would be a good confidence okay. for him. The other two, I don't know if they could handle okay. it. It might be more of a mess than it's worth. Yeah. But but one of them, I okay. think, could be like, sure. The, I think you know your students well, and uh -huh. um, but if you think you could see a benefit for them, that particular boy, and like a confidence boost, mm -hmm. that'd be great. Does that make sense? like with one or two students leading like mm -hmm. this practice. Wonderful, okay. okay, this is a super smarty goal. <laughs> you, If you are comfortable with it, you can move forward. Yeah. Um, this next part asks you a few questions to do some planning for success. I'll let you okay. finish that. All right, so you can finish that up and go to your dashboard. Okay. Then you'll see that the goal and the Smarty Steps are there. It'll prompt you in a week to review it. Okay. Um, any thoughts on how you will know if this, these strategies are working or starting to work? It'll take a little while, but. Mm. Well, <clears throat> I mean, I'll, I might be feeling a little bit less frustrated if okay. it's starting to okay. work. Um, and like, I guess if, all of these, like this practice and more like discrete feedback and stuff is working, then maybe I won't have to threaten recess as That's often too. Great. So being proactive would really help you actually not have to give consequences. Yeah, okay. hopefully. <laughs> I think this is a great plan. Let me know when you'd like to check in again. What are your thoughts on that? Maybe like a week or two. Okay. I don't, sure. So just reach out to me and if I haven't heard from you, I'll check back with you in, in two weeks. Okay. How about that? Sounds All great. Right. Thank well, you so much. Yeah. Julie. You've really thought about your students needs and, and really how to um, bring these boys into this. So great work. Thank you. I'm excited. All right. See you in two weeks. Okay.